Let's solve a third order differential equation, homogeneous, since the equation is equal to zero. And um, from the previous um, um, courses, we remember that the type of solution we are looking for, let's say y of x, equals e to rx. So if we replace the first derivative, the second, the third derivative into our equation, we are going to end up with this characteristic equation or auxiliary equation of the form r to the third minus r squared minus 4r plus 4 equals 0. And we want to solve this um, equation. And we have many methods. One of them um, is to, mo to uh, factor out the r squared from the first two, so it's r minus 1 and factor out negative 4 from the last two and we get r minus 1 equals 0. So r minus 1 a common factor, r squared minus 4 equals 0. We also have r minus 1 times r minus 2 times r minus plus 2 equals 0. So we use for this piece a squared minus b squared. So we end up with three r's, r1 equals 1, r2 equals 2, and r3 equals negative 2. The solutions of this three equation. This one, this one, this one. So what does that mean? It means the solution is of the form y of x equals c1 e2 x plus c2 e to 2x plus c3 e to negative 2x. So this is the solution, the general solution to our equation. Now let's solve this problem with some initial values. So what if we have y of 0 equals 1, y prime of 0 equals negative 1, and y double prime of 0 equals 0? Let's find out the constants, right? c1, c2, c3. And since it's a, um, a third order differential equation, we expect to have three conditions. So the y of 0, y prime of 0, and y double prime of 0. So y of x, it's given here. So y prime of x is going to be c1 e to the x plus 2c2 e to 2x minus 2c3 e to negative 2x. And y double prime of x is going to be c1 e to the x plus 4c2 e to 2x and plus 4c3 e to negative 2x. So having these three functions and having these three conditions, we can find out C1, C2, and C3. So let's start. Now y of 0 equals, so y of 0 equals C1 plus C2 plus C3 because E to 0 equals uh, 1. So this is equal to 1 from this condition. Now y prime of 0 equals c1 plus 2c2 minus 2c3 and this is given to be equal to negative 1. And y double prime of 0 equals c1 plus 4c2 plus 4c3 and this is equal to 0. So we have to solve this system of three equations with three unknown values. So what we're going to do is we're going to do Cramer's. So delta equals 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 4, 1, negative 2, 4. So using Cyrus method, I copy again the first two rows and we combine them like this. This is the main diagonal and two parallel to it and then we multiply them. So it's 1 times 2 times 4 plus 1 times 4 times 1 plus 1 times 1 times negative 2 minus, and now let's do the other two. 1, this is the main diagonal or the secondary diagonal and then parallel to it. So we have 1 times 2 times 1 plus negative 2 times 4 times 1 plus 4 times 1 times 1. So let's do the math. 8 plus 4 minus 2 minus 2 minus 8 plus 4. So we get 10 
minus negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2, so we get 12. This is delta. So let's calculate the delta C1. Delta C1 means in delta, instead of the first of the column of C1, which is the first one, we are going to plug in the coefficients or the constants. So we have 1, negative 1, 0, and everything else stays the same. So pause this and calculate your determinants. And in this case, I'm using a different method than the ones presented in my um, video. I'm using the triangle method, which looks similar, which looks like this. I have the main diagonal, so I have 1 times 2 times 4, which is this 8. And then I am creating triangles that are have one side parallel to this diagonal. So basically, I'm creating this negative 1, 4 with this 1 from here. So this is this diagonal, this uh, triangle, negative 1, 4, and 1. That makes it a, um, a triangle. And then another triangle that is parallel to this one is 1, negative 2, and this is 0. So this is how I got this 0. And then the same thing happens with the the other diagonal with the secondary diagonal, which is we start from here, 1 times 2 times 0, so this is how I got this 0, and then parallel sides to it, negative 2, 4, and 1, right? This is going to make a triangle, so that's how I got the negative 8, and negative 1, 1, and the 4, that's how I got the negative 4. So you can use this method again, but you can also use the Cyrus method that I did above, or you can use the uh, cofactors method. We have equals 4 minus this negative 12, so plus 12, and we get 16. Delta C2 is 1, 1, 1, and then instead of C2, we put 1, negative 1, 0, and then 1, negative 2, 4. And when we calculate this, we get negative 4 plus 0, minus 2, minus negative 1, plus 0, plus 4. So it's negative 6, minus 3, negative 9. And delta C3 is 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 4, and then the constants, which are 1, negative 1, 0. Basically, the constants are moving around with the position of the um, variable that I'm calculating. So we get 0 plus 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 plus 0. So I'm using that triangle, which helps me because I can do that mentally. So we get 5. So what does that mean? C1 is delta C1 over delta, so it's 16 over 12, which means C1 equals 4 over 3. C2 is delta C2 over delta, so it's negative 9 over 12, which means C2 equals negative 3 over 4. And C3 equals delta C3 over delta, so it's 5 over 12, so C3 is 5 over 12. So in the other, um, so y of x is 4 over 3 e to the x minus 3 over 4 e to 2x plus 5 over 12 e to negative 2x. Let me double check if that's how y of x look like, right? c1 e to the x, c2 e to 2x, and c3. So this is the final answer with all the variables um, computed.